Thank you guys so much. It's so good to see you. We're going to talk today about stress, the seven signs of stress and the essential oils and the nutritional products that can help us. We move really, really fast in these classes. We know people are really busy, so we don't go into a ton of detail. We kind of dip in. We provide a lot of links. We have handouts. I've got a bunch of uh, different um, links that people can follow to dig into it a little bit deeper and go a little deeper with their um, with their exploration, but we move real fast because we know people are busy. So we really try to limit these um, conversations, these classes to about 40 to 45 minutes. So um, if I go too fast, I apologize. Absolutely raise your hand and be like, girl, wait, what did you just say? <laughs> Feel free to interrupt me. It happens <laughs> because I start like rolling and I go really fast. Um, so let's see, I'm going to share my screen and then we will just um, walk through our uh, handout and go to the very beginning. So let me know if you guys can see me. How does that look for everybody? Is that big enough? Yes. yes. Okay, cool. So studies, obviously everybody knows this. Studies have shown that chronic stress is one of the biggest health problems, if not the biggest in um, modern society. It's the biggest health problem plaguing modern humankind. Prolonged stress causes a wide variety of physiological a physical, emotional, and even mental issues for people. We are all under stress. Unfortunately, it's just kind of part of the gig about being on um, a planet we're all ascending. There is some crazy stuff happening in our societies. There is just lots and lots of um, tumult, a lot of chaos going on. And so it affects everybody, regardless of culture, country, gender identity, uh, religion, education, it gets us all. Um, our bodies are actually designed to deal with and react to stress really, really well. Um, in age, it's like an ancient reptilian part of our makeup. Oh, it's yeah. it's hard-coded into our human physiology. In order to survive, humans need to identify and react to danger. So stress can be helpful for us. It actually is, is a really good uh, thing that kicks in when we're trying to run away from a predator or uh, take evasive action or as Kristen and I jokingly say, we have to run away from the dinosaurs. We have to escape the, you know, <laughs> get away from the bad stuff. <laughs> but stress is how the body helps us cope. So it's like helping us cope with the ever fluctuating terrain of life. Um, stress happens, that response happens when our bodies react to any taxing situation or stimulation, both external and internal. Interestingly, also both perceived stress and actual physical stress, something that's actually threatening you. We'll talk about that in just a, in just a minute. Temporary stress is positive, like we mentioned, so that you can get out of you know, danger or help a kid or help an animal. Um, but it's the actual unrelenting stress that is directly linked to disease and damage to the body. It also is linked directly to emotional challenges and even psychiatric problems. Um, anyone who's been stressed can, can tell you that um, I've had panic attacks. I don't know if anyone on the call has ever had those, but you feel like you're dying. You literally, you have you, Laura? Yeah, I, I'm a girl, you, me. Oh, you feel like you are dying. You really are convinced that this is it, you're dying. And your body thinks yep. for, for all intents and purposes, you basically are because your body is just flooding uh, with, with stress hormones and, and on that whole cycle. So um, I love, love, love this website, you guys. Oh my gosh, when you get a chance, I'll send all of these, um, these uh, support materials out to everybody at the end of the class. But when you get a chance, check out the Mayo Clinic website because it is so well written. Oh my gosh, they punctuated it perfectly. Makes the grammar person, the grammarian in me very happy. But I love that, uh, how they outlined this. So I just lifted it right from their website and, and uh, cited them here. When you encounter a perceived threat, such as a large dog barking at you during your morning walk, your hypothalamus, it's a tiny region at your brain's base, it sets off alarm bells and it sets up alarm systems in your body. And through a combination of nerve and hormonal signals, this system prompts your adrenal glands located atop your kidneys to release a surge of hormones, including adrenaline and cortisol. Adrenaline increases your heart rate, it elevates your blood pressure, and it boosts energy supplies. Cortisol is the primary stress hormone. It increases glucose in your bloodstream, so it gives your blood a little boost of sugar. It enhances your brain's use of glucose, and it increases the availability of substances that repair tissues. Cortisol, unfortunately, also curbs functions that would be 
consider deemed non-essential by the body um, or detrimental to you in fight or flight. So it actually suppresses digestion. This is why people who have cortisol issues, sometimes like myself, we got the big belly. We've got too much stress going on and I'm teaching this class because I need this class. <laughs> I totally need to get this, man. I gotta get this down because I had a really stressful life and I totally, at my middle age, I've got cortisol issues. I work out an hour a day, but you'd never know it by looking at me because I've got that cortisol stuff. So I constantly, sort of my body is constantly in fight or flight. And um, so I've been working on that this year. I've been using essential oils to help with that, but we'll talk about that in a little minute, minute or two. So uh, cortisol curbs functions that would be non-essential and it alters the immune system responses and suppresses the digestive system. Like I mentioned, it also suppresses your reproductive system and growth processes. So every tiny available resource that your body needs to get you out of that danger, it, your body is just like shuts down the stuff that will not, you know, help you in that instance. And it's giving you everything you need to get out of, the, out of danger. Um, it's so amazing. So when the natural stress response goes wild, however, it's self-limiting. Once a perceived threat has passed, hormone levels are supposed to return to normal. Ordinarily, they do. For most of us, they do. Um, adrenaline and cortisol levels drop. Your heart rate and blood pressure then returns to baseline, and other systems resume their regular activities. But when you're a super stress bucket, like myself, um, those stressors are always present and you constantly feel under attack. Some of it, this, of course, is subconscious. This is not like I'm walking around going, I'm feeling so attacked, you know? <laughs> it's, not, it's how it works. A lot of it's just deep psychology and um, body, you know, body per perception attack. Um, but the flight or fight reaction stays turned on and the long-term activation of the stress response system and overexposure to cortisol and other stress hormones that can disrupt almost all of your body's processes. And you guys, primarily your digestion. Let me tell you, girl, boy, girl and boy. <laughs> it's just like messes up your digestion. I'm like, can anyone relate? <laughs> can y'all relate? Raise your hands if you can relate. <laughs> Laura, I love you so much. <laughs> Danny, you're just like, woo. <laughs> oh my God. So as you age, like digestion starts becoming like, you know, your gut health starts becoming a lot more important. So um, we mentioned earlier actual versus perceived stress. Our bodies react to stress whether we're actually physically being threatened or merely perceiving a threat or remembering like a stressful conversation or an argument with a loved one. What happens, the same process happens. Your body gets flooded with, uh, with the stress hormones and um, your body cannot tell the difference between something that's physically coming up to physically accost you or it's something that you're imagining. To your body, it is the same. And that is absolutely reptilian. It's like, you know, it's fundamental to our survival. Um, but unfortunately, even perceived, you know, emotional stressors can trigger those uh, stress response in the body. And, and that's, of course, that's unrelenting that that will lead to disease it, without a doubt. So learning to spot the signs of stress in our own experience is and addressing them easily, you know, often and early and all of that, addressing them through lifestyle and diet changes is the best defense against that oxidative damage that takes, that takes place when perpetual stress is present. The seven most common signs of stress, I think if we go through all of that, I think probably everyone on the, on the call has probably experienced this and, and typically it's chronic. So I would say, you know, two or more episodes per week, maybe five episodes per month. If you have kind of these, these chronic kinds of conditions, inflammation in the body, um, illness in the body, headaches, exhaustion, fatigue, of course, uh, digestive, big, 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 reflux, you know, constipation, so on and so forth, uh, body pain, neck, shoulder, lower back, joint, stomach, so on. Um, all of these, these seven signs are kind of like the most common signs of, of uh, stress response. Um, of course, self-medicating drugs, alcohol, cigarettes, food, sex, um, and yeah, those were the good old days. That's all I can say. <laughs> Did you say sex? <laughs> no. Bite your tongue. Well, <laughs> sex addiction. <laughs> I swear she said sex. I did. It's on the. It's on there. If you look at the thing, it's it's addiction. When it when it reaches a level of addiction, <laughs> then it can be a sign of stress. But 
Yeah, no, I know. Bite my tongue, right? <laughs> Maybe I'll just take that off of there. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Everyone's like, no, take sex. Why I, <laughs> I think it's on there. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it could be an addiction. I'm just saying. So the role of Young Living Essential Oils and nutritional products in stress relief, uh, using Young Living Essential Oils and nutritional products uh, that it can contain essential oils are a very quick and easy way to counteract the effects of stress. Essential oil molecules enter the limbic system within seconds. You, all you have to do is put a drop in your hand, activate that oil, do your lotus breath. Within, um, within 20 seconds, those molecules, they are so tiny that they pass the blood brain barrier. So they go right into your limbic system and they are in measurable amounts in your bloodstream within two minutes. It's unbelievable, nothing can act this fast. Uh, within 20 minutes, the molecules in those essential oils have touched every cell in your body. Uh, in one drop of essential oil, there is 400 million trillion molecules, one drop. And that is a four with 19 zeros after it, which is like a hideously long number that actually stresses me out. So <laughs> it's too many numbers. <laughs> it's just too much, but it's a beautiful number because those that one drop of oil contains enough molecules to cover every cell in your body 40,000 times. So we have 100 trillion cells in our body. It's enough molecules to cover every cell in our body 40,000 times. If that isn't going to get it, then I don't know what will, <laughs> you know, but they're awesome. So um, essential oils are ideal for stress relief because of the naturally occurring chemical constituents. These things stimulate cool, warm, or even sedate parts of our brains and bodies as necessary for releasing emotions and relieving stress. We all know why Young Living, we're all in Young Living, but Young Living, they are the best, highest quality, purest, most highly tested essential oils in existence. The company Seed to Seal standards guarantee that. That sets the bar for purity, science, testing, cultivation, and distillation. Young Living governs every aspect of production. They control the entire chain of custody on every oil, every time. We are the only oil company that can make that claim. And we are the only oil company that actually owns the farms or partners with certified farms that um, produce the best stuff available to humankind. I absolutely love Young Living so much. They are amazing. We all know this, we're all in the family, but, um, but it's an incredible company. And uh, yeah, they just, they make the best. We'll talk real quick about essential oil chemistry I always include this in our classes because it's kind of inter it's kind of um, intimidating, but but it's really interesting to understand why the oils, uh, why this is not just anecdotal, why this is actual science. Um, <clears throat> essential oils are um, built of isoprene units that are classified as terpenes. Terpenes are what make essential oils unique in the world of natural substances. Phenylpropanoids are compounds of carbon ring mo molecules incorporating one isoprene unit. There are dozens of these. The, there are dozens and dozens. Um, one of the oils, um, clove, oh my gosh, 90% uh, phenylpropanoids contained in, that, in that, uh, all that essential oil. They can create conditions where unfriendly viruses and bacteria cannot live. The most important function performed by the phenylpropanoids is that they clean the cell receptor sites on the cells. So cell receptor sites get clogged with petrochemicals. Those come in the form of our food, air, um, any kind of toxin we come into contact with. Those cell receptor sites get plugged with, um, they get kind of gunked up and they can't function as well. So the phenylpropanoids come along and they clean that off. They clean all that gunk off and they open up those cell receptor sites and they make those like an area where, where um, the, the molecule that can match that cell receptor site will be able to enter that cell and do things inside at the DNA level. They're amazing. So, Liz, yeah. Um, also, if they're clogged, then anything that we're taking for nutrient value can't get into the cells, right? That is absolutely correct. Very good point. Thank you, Kay. Your cells, when those things are clogged, um, it invariably always absolutely leads to that cell cannot clean itself properly. It can't communicate properly. It can't rid itself of toxins. It cannot perform the duties that it needs to do. It's not, um, it's not living its best life. 
And so if you clean those cell, cell sites off, that cell can then receive the nutrients that it needs. So the food that you're eating, and if you're all gunky and your cells are mm -hmm. all gunked up, the food that you're eating, all these steps that you're taking, yeah, some of it's getting in there, but not enough. And what's so astounding about the phenylpropanoids is they come right along and they clean that off. Some people end up having a reaction to essential oils when that happens because they're having like a little mini healing crisis or a little detox. When those oil molecules come in and they're in there in 20 seconds, they're hitting your bloodstream in two minutes. What happens is sometimes people, if they have a lot of that gunk on their cells, those oils are coming in. They're like, hey, clean, you get some cleaning, you get some cleaning. And they're just running around like Oprah, you gonna get clean, you gonna get clean. And that stuff floods your, your, your bloodstream. So it's always really important when you first start using oils, drink a lot of water, make sure that you're, you know, doing your exercise and doing all, you know, eating as health, healthily as you can and uh, help those oils um, release those toxins and, and flush those out of your body. But yeah. And hey, Liz. Yeah. Um, same with hydrogenated oils in foods. So that's corn oils, uh, oils that are, they're like carbon atoms spread out and it makes them have a shelf life, but you're actually eating rancid food. Right. And those also coat your cells in impermeable coating and your food, your bad can't get out and the good can't get in. So watching what we eat along with using essential oils will clean those cell receptor sites off and uh, make our cells function better. Absolutely. Food is, food is very important. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Good point. So the monoterpenes, which is uh, their compounds that are comprised of two isoprene units, there are about 2,000 varieties of monoterpenes. These are so amazing because they have the ability, once the cell receptor site is cleaned, those monoterpenes can go inside and they can reprogram miswritten information in cellular memory. So they go in and they kind of go, okay, what do we got here? And they start the cell, they start to get the cell like back into where it needs to be in terms of its functioning. Uh, the sesquiterpenes are com uh, compounds comprised of three isoprene units. There are about 10,000 kinds of sesquiterpenes. Cedarwood is one of the oils we're gonna talk about today. Love cedarwood because it is so high in sesquiterpenes. The ses sesquiterpenes are the actual part of the terpenes that can come in and they will reprogram the cells, cells at the DNA level. Those are molecules that come in and they can repair oxidative damage at the DNA level. And this is not anecdotal, this is actual science. We, uh, Kristen and I have been com uh, compiling tons and tons of science links um, on as we do our research and, and do these classes. And so we, uh, we have a document where there are just, we've got about maybe 50 links com compiled right now about all of the scientific studies. Some of these are double and triple blinds on these um, essential oils and, and how they behave in the body. Um, and you know, there are all kinds of like scientific teams that are replicating each other's results. Um, unbelievable. Uh, these things are so important, so amazing um, on a molecular level for the body. So the sesquiterpenes also deliver more concentrated oxygen mo molecules to our cells, tissues, and the brain, and uh, primarily the pineal and the pituitary glands, which are vital structures in stress response. Um, we don't have to go into the details. You guys can read this um, a little bit later, but they do. They are um, vitally involved in uh, the secreting hormones into our uh, bloodstream. So we've got a table here of some oils and nutritional products that help with stress. Again, you guys will all get a copy of this. Um, we're gonna talk today, the ones in bold are the ones we're gonna talk about today in the class. Cedarwood is the first one we're gonna talk about, of course, I mentioned cedar. Um, oh my God, this oil, you guys, if you don't have it, get it right now. Get it, get it and get it on you. Um, these, this, this stuff is so high in sesquiterpenes. Again, that's the part of the molecule that can, or the actual chemistry, the, the terpenes that can go in and repair oxidative damage at the DNA level. This one's 98% sesquiterpenes. Unbelievable. It's, it's been prized by humanity for thousands of years and it's not expensive. I think this is like, I don't know, maybe someone knows 13 bucks or something, 12, 15, something yeah, it's like very, that. Very, very affordable, less than 15. Yep, thank you. Um, so it was used in ancient Egypt, Egypt for embalming the dead and in Tibet, it's been a traditional medicine for a lot of different ailments. Um, and it's also used as incense over there, but it's an integral part of human existence. And it's been that way for centuries. 
In modern times, cedar wood, of course, is used in cabinet making and furniture making for its uh, ability to thwart, you know, critters and moths and, and invasive insects. It's just an amazing, amazing oil. Um, it's an absolute awesome stimulant for the limbic system, it, which is the center of our emotions and the pineal gland, which we mentioned. It's also uh, really, really great for sleep. And um, Kay, do you remember there was like a, some floating around on one of the oily web pages where if you put cedar wood on your toe, your like your right, your your big toe or something, yeah, I heard that it helps you sleep. Very well, uh, yeah, it helps you sleep. I think it's it, that anything is um, symbolic of the, with the head, the reflexology yes. areas like the thumbs, oh, okay, the big okay. toe, uh, because that's the reflexology points or areas that correspond with our head. And also, you know, it penetrates the blood brain barrier, which is the reason why I never, ever, 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 ever run out of it. And it's higher <laughs> assessed with terpenes than frankincense. So Boom, right here, I, baby. That right there. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even want to tell everybody about it. It might run out and stop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> stop talking about it. <laughs> People might only get wise to it. <laughs> it's good stuff. Good stuff. I'm gonna go buy three. <laughs> I got 60 bucks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get three of them. <laughs> but it's also highly relaxing and sedating. So it sedates our limbic system, it kind of sedates our body systems. It also works great for sleep. I personally have total issues with sleep, of course. Big surprise there. Cortisol, cortisol queen right here. Um, but I've had to rotate amongst like lavender, cedar wood, a number of oils. I kind of have to move around. My body gets wise to it. She's like, ha, 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 you're not gonna, you're gonna make me sleep tonight, you know. So I have to move and try different things. Um, but yeah, this is this is very helpful. Just an awesome oil. Absolutely highly recommend. Um, another oil we're gonna talk about is neroli. I don't know if you guys have ever smelled this, but this is the most bewitching, amazing oil. It's not cheap. It is, I don't know, what is it, like 111 bucks or something for this little bottle. So I got it with my ER points. I saved up for this bad boy because oh, right. I was like, I'm doing this. I found a double blind study, there's a link to it here, um, where a group of about 100 women, I think maybe 86 made the cut in the study. They were pre and post menopausal. And they, all they had to do was sniff this oil for five minutes per day, twice a day. And this is double blind. So this means two teams, one team replicated another team's um, findings. And this literally lowered the women's blood pressure, systolic and diastolic blood pressure. It reduced their cortisol. So they measured everybody's cortisol before and then after. It is so amazing for menopause and for uh, pre and post menopause, but even young women who are still, you know, um, you know, doing the hormones and making the hormones and stuff will greatly benefit from this. This is so amazing. Love this oil. Um, so yeah, I've got a link to this study there, but it's also an aid for digestion. It supports healthy blood pressure, of course, uh, reducing cortisol. It sedates and relaxes the mind and the body and it lifts the spirits and it is just such an amazing smelling oil, highly recommend it. Um, yeah, this one's great. I'm gonna keep that with me, always. The next one we're gonna talk about, of course, how to talk about stress away. So our blend stress away is so awesome. We could not do this class without it. We could not do life without this. Um, it contains copaiba, which we all know is a, an awesome anti-inflammatory. It has lime oil, it has cedar wood, of course. It's got vanilla fruit extract, acatia, which is uh, uh, from Ecuador. It's a type of uh, tree, uh, bark, wood from Ecuador. Uh, although I think they take the oil from the leaves and it also has lavender oil. So again, all those sedating um, oils, those are oils that, that level set our nervous system and help us kind of just go, okay, I can do this. And stress away, um, although it's not a vitality oil, I eat this oil. You can make up your own mind about what you want to do with it, but um, I put this in my water. And especially because I have a lot of uh, meetings in high tech and for which I have to appear on camera, and believe it or not, that makes me anxious. I have rampant uh, social anxiety. So, so this is what goes in my water and I chug, chug, chug before I have to go to a meeting and talk to a bunch of engineers. And, and I'm like sitting there like, but the stress way helps, it does, it really does. <laughs> it helps me so much. 
So uh, yeah, it tastes great in water. I, um, Kristen, you're the one that makes the roller and puts the roller under your nose. I did try that by the way, um, under your mask. So guys, we have a new trick. If you feel a little anxious when you're wearing your mask, Kristen rolls it on her upper lip and puts her mask on. She works at Lowe's, so she's out in the public all the time. And so she slathers herself with oils just to be out in the, the big wide world, the big scary germ, germ-ridden world. But if you roll that right on your upper lip and put your mask on, oh my God, you guys, it cuts your anxiety like by half. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm always feel like I'm suffocating when I'm wearing a mask. So, so this is a great, kind of a great little way to deal with it. Um, okay, one of the supplements we're gonna talk about is cortis stop. I don't have any right now. I used it for uh, about 90 days. Absolutely love it. I'm not even kidding. I started using stop. The only thing that I did differently, I work out an hour a day and I drink a lot of water every day and I take really good care of myself. But but other than that, I'm really I'm way too stressed. But I used stop. I lost eight pounds. That's all I did different. Swear to God, <laughs> I lost like eight pounds after like six weeks on stop. And I'm like, what is this sorcery? How did I didn't know that this before, you know? <laughs> but, but I did, I lost weight on it. I don't know, my body was like, wait, what? what? <laughs> I'm getting help? <laughs> it was incredible. So it really did work, you guys. It really helped me. And I swear, and Kay, I remember you telling me that when you first went on quarter stop, you just felt like totally chilled. You were like, oh. Like you had that total effect of like, oh. I couldn't believe it, um, that it was such a noticeable difference. It was one of the testaments to the fact that, you know, how Young Living puts these essential oils inside of the, a lot of the supplements. Right. And it makes it so easily as absorbable and available within our bodies. I attribute to that and of course the other ingredients, but I felt a remarkable difference. And anyone that's highly under stress and as a result of that stress, you're fighting your inability to maybe lose weight. Donna is on the call. I see Donna Knudsen's on the call. Yeah. Maybe if she just takes a couple of moments, do you have anything you can say? I remember you tried um, um, Cortistop. Uh, can you hear us, Donna? Yes, I can. Uh, How are you today? I'm good. Am I on? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Um, I enjoy, yeah, I really liked it a lot. Um, it, it did make a difference. I just, yeah, I agree with what you're saying, Kay, that it relaxed me more and I wasn't so uptight. So it's definitely a great thing. Great supplement. Yeah. I'll definitely be using it more. Is this something you would use? I think it's, there's a, um, there's a prescribed period that you use it for. Yeah. Um, yeah. They say you know one month is, on. Uh, Mm-hmm. Yep. One month on, I did, I followed exactly what was on the label one month on, one month off. And I used it for about 90 days, maybe well into close to four months. I think it was by the time I was all said and done. Um, so, and the reason uh, Gary recommended that in some of these supplements is he wants our bodies to figure it out. He doesn't want us to develop a dependency. He doesn't want our bodies to go, oh, I need this thing, right? He really wanted us to um, make it a holistic approach to our health and wellness and and make sure that we are giving our bodies just a nudge, you know, a suggestion. This is what we want you to try to do and and encourage our bodies to do what they know how to do, which is make hormones and and take care of us and, you know, and and be well. Uh, So that's why you'll see that sometimes on the labels. I don't think it would harm you if you took it. Um, you know, continually, but again, we really, you know, we honestly, in our opinions, it's the, you know, we just want to encourage our bodies to figure stuff out, right? So uh, try some things, be willing to experiment with it. Uh, you might intuitive, intuitively understand your body needs to be on it for two solid months and if, before you feel kind of like, okay, I've tried it, I'm going to give it a three weeks off and then go back on that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, so supplements aren't meant to be taken forever. Right. You know, um, I'm not, that doesn't apply to Nisha Red, of course. Right, right. <laughs> but, Some of them. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, but when you're trying to target certain things that your body is out of balance with, you're just trying to get it back in balance so that the natural body response to kick in. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. So um, absolutely encourage women to try that. Of course, that's a, a supplement uh, focusing on women's health. Um, Super B, I don't know if you guys have used this one. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is such an amazing supplement. I swear I just took two. Did you? 
did you? Oh my God, that's awesome. I took two today as well. So the, the, the daily dose is two of them. Um, there are eight different vitamin, uh, B vitamins, all of which we need for energy, wellness, and general well-being. And of uh, those eight, um, they all serve specific functions in the body. So vitamins B1, 2, 3, 6, and 12 help maintain a healthy nervous system. And this is partly where stress relief comes in. A strong nervous system is essential to being able to effectively fight the symptoms of stress. Young Living Super B is a comprehensive vitamin complex. It contains all eight essential energy boosting B vitamins, and it features or organ fa. I do not know if that's how you pronounce that, but I'm giving it a shot. It's a natural folate source derived from lemon peels and methylcobalamin, methylcobalamin, I don't know that, I'm, I murdered that, but it's a more bioavailable source of B12. It also contains nutmeg, which is awesome for our, our adrenals, way awesome for endocrine. Um, I take a, a nutmeg, drops of nutmeg in my mud water every morning religiously, love nutmeg. And in fact, Kayo's the beauty that told me about nutmeg to help with uh, endocrine system because I, you know, I got stress issues. Uh, also, this um, formula contains bioavailable treated minerals, magnesium, manganese, selenium, and zinc. And it assists with maintaining healthy energy levels, but also supports mood, cardiovascular um, wellness, and cognitive function. B vitamins do not get stored in our, in our bodies. They have to be added to our bodies every day. They are not stored in the body. They, uh, your body, when it's done with it, it lets it go. It flushes it out by way of your, uh, your urine and uh, sweat and so forth. And so we need to replenish B vitamins every single day. They're amazing. And this formula is awesome. I love it. My other favorite is multigreens. And Katie, you take multigreens every day, don't you? All these things are awesome. Hey man, I am, I'm sorry, I was muted. But like I said, I give things a break like you do with your, yep. with your body. I break things up. So multigreens, I may do it for a month every day. Right. And then I start kicking in with something else. But that multigreens, I was surprised. I was, I mean, it's just like, it turns you into an energizing bunny. You feel yeah, so does. young, like a kid again, <laughs> for real. I kid you not. Look at, this skin. Look at this skin. <laughs> Look at this skin. Look at this beautiful skin. Look at this skin. <laughs> but it's very energizing. Yes, it very is. Very energizing. Yeah, it really is. And it's great because it definitely, it like targets your glands and your nervous system and your circulatory system. So it makes sense. You literally feel like an energizer, energizer bunny. This also contains spirulina, alfalfa sprouts, Barley grass, bee pollen. Oh my God, bee pollen is so good for us, you guys. Oh my gosh, I put a little blip in here about bee pollen because when I started researching it, I was like, I'm going to buy some more bee pollen. <laughs> it's so good for us. But um, all of the ingredients in this Pacific kelp, uh, and then of course, uh, essential oils of rosemary, lemon, lemongrass, and Melissa. Oh my God, I love Melissa. She's my favorite. Um, they are all uh, super helpful for fortifying our glandular systems and our immunity, of course. Um, I love eating seaweed, but some people don't like it. So if you don't like eating seaweed, then eat some multigreens because that's basically what you're getting in this stuff and you don't have to eat seaweed. But I, I eat like pounds of seaweed. I would eat seaweed every minute of every day if I could. I love it. But yeah, so bee pollen contains over 250 wellness ingredients, including minerals, vitamins, and antioxidants. Studies have linked bee pollen and its compounds to health benefits such as decreased inflammation, booyah, improved immunity, and easing menopausal symptoms and wound healing. And the menopause piece is probably why I'm so in love with bee pollen because uh, I'm like smack dab in the middle of doing all that. So uh, it, it's, it's definitely helped immensely. I love multigreens. Oh my gosh. So we took a couple little, uh, um, did a little list here of some behavioral changes. Um, obviously diet changes. We didn't really get uh, too, too deep into that, um, but there are a lot of ways that we can behaviorally address our stress praying that's in your belief system. I like to wake up every morning and the first thing that I do before my, heat, my feet hit the ground is I, I just start praying. I believe in God. So I say, hey God, what's up? How are you? Oh my gosh, thank you so much. And I start listing all the things for which I'm grateful. Thank you so much. I woke up alive today. I really appreciate you. I'm, I'm back at it. I'm in a body. I didn't wake up dead. I woke up alive. Woohoo! Let's go help some people. You know, so I just have this really like very casual conversation with, 
with God, you know, father, mother, God, source, whatever you want to call it. And um, it just sets the tone for the day. And the days that I'm rushing around and not really doing that and not being mindful and not being present definitely affects like how my day goes, right? So I just love doing this. It's a really great, um, it just instantly kind of sets your day and it, it sort of tells your body, okay, we're not stressing. <laughs> we're just going to be chill. We're going to talk to God, you know? <laughs> and uh, so I love doing that. I've loved to meditate. I meditate every morning as well. I uh, talk with God first, then I meditate. Um, that is how I give to myself first. I think it's so important that before we start giving to other people, wake up and give to yourself first. Even if it's just a 12 ounce glass of water, whatever, give to yourself first, you know, have, talk to creator, great, but do something for yourself because we're going to spend our entire day giving to a company, making other people wealthy, right? In some cases, I have a full-time job and I run a moving business, but we're going to give so much to other people. And, you know, and so, so spend 10, 15 minutes and give to yourself first. You guys, it actually reduces your stress. It's the weirdest thing. And you can do all of these things in like five minutes. It doesn't have to be this big, you know, two hour ritual, you can do these things in five or six minutes. Um, meditating, you wanna to try to maybe shoot for 15 if you can. Um, if you're meditating and your mind is still going, it's okay, you're still meditating. You're not doing it wrong, keep going. Don't stop, don't let it, don't let it stop you. Um, there is no right or wrong way to meditate, by the way. Do, just do it, do it and try to be, try to like concentrate on your breath or concentrate or try to feel your pulse. Sometimes I'll sit and meditate and I'm like, I'm gonna to try to feel my heart. I'm gonna to try to feel my heart beating. And the focus, that in and of itself is lowering your blood pressure and is helping you reduce stress. Um, obviously I'm not, I don't have this all figured out. I'm still learning, I'm still working through all the stress stuff, but, but um, I've added meditation every single day and it's, it's helped immensely. So we talked about using supplements and antioxidants. We're gonna give an honorable mention, of course, to Ningxia Red, because it really needs to be talked about. We all know about Ningxia Red. That Ningxia Red drink is so amazingly good for us. Um, in just two ounces, this is the antioxidant equivalent of just two ounces of Ningxia every day on this little graphic on the left here. Unbelievable, right? Like 1,628 blueberries, what? <laughs> Dude, a hundred, oh, nearly 111 pounds of almonds, the antioxidant equivalent in like, you know, this little packet right here. Unbelievable. So definitely eating healthy foods, um, taking our supplements, drinking our nutra. Um, diaphragmatic breathing is also really important. That's a, an awesome thing to do. We do not breathe as a, you know, as modern humans don't breathe enough. And diaphragmatic breathing, where you're actually breathing so deep that your stomach extends. Don't worry, no one's gonna think you're fat. Just let it out, <laughs> just breathe. And do that diaphragmatic breathing where you're mindfully breathing. That instantly lowers your blood pressure. It instantly lowers your stress. Just breathing through your nose and out through your mouth, you guys, is so healing for the, for the body. And, um, and it just kind of helps you feel better. It helps you like regroup. It's just amazing. Um, obviously, go outside, uh, stand in the sun for a few minutes, get that vitamin D on your skin, exercise outside if, if you're, if you're um, interested in doing that, taking walks. Um, definitely, there's a link here. This is a really cool article. I highly encourage you guys to check it out and go read that. It talks about the depression um, fighting benefits of, of sunlight and uh, and working out outside and all that. So yeah, definitely. So we are three minutes ahead. Is it, can you believe that? We just did so awesome. Woohoo! <laughs> like, book through it, baby. Woohoo! Um, if you're not in our family, join our family, please come, come and join our family. To, um, hit us up. If you are not uh, in Young Living, we would love to have you, uh, help you um, get kick all those chemicals out of your house and uh, be well and be healthy. And uh, we do these classes every Tuesday. We have them um, every Tuesday. We've got a schedule we put up occasionally. We've got a Facebook page. Uh, we absolutely encourage you guys to reach out and uh, let us know what you think of our classes. All feedback is welcome. And I appreciate you guys so much for coming in. And uh, do you guys have any questions? Does anyone have any questions? I'd love to stick around and we could talk for a bit if you, if you want to. 
I don't have any questions, but I was just going to say, I love that you guys, you and Kay mentioned that, um, cause I get really overwhelmed with all the supplements I have Yeah, and I yeah. look at all these supplements and because I, then I get so overwhelmed that I'm like, F it. I'm not going to take any because I don't even know what to do or what to take or how many or how long. And I feel like I have to take like 30 supplements in a day. Like it <laughs> seems like a lot to me. Like I just cannot down 30 supplements. So Dude, like, I just, have a pile. Hearing, <laughs> just hearing that part of it and simplified, yeah. I was like, oh, phew. I could just take like a couple for like 90 days and then exactly. I can move on to something else. Exactly. You do <laughs> not have to make you don't have to make it stressful, Laura. <laughs> no, I'm like, girl. <laughs> Y'all stressed over the supplements. <laughs> right? Oh, no, no. <laughs> so cute. Okay, I'm not taking any now. <laughs> so thank you for that part. I, I that really helped. Oh, that is so Hey, cute. Liz. Yeah. How long does it take to get petrochemicals off of our cells, knowing that everybody's different? Well, it totally, yeah, it totally depends on your physiology, how much water you drink, how much exercise you get, um, how much you oxygenate your cells and your pineal gland and all that. Uh, so it, it's really hard to um, answer that without, you know, without knowing, but a fairly healthy person, um, literally these oils will work within minutes and they're cleaning those petrochemicals off within minutes. Um, so it's gonna happen on some level, depending on um, your circulation. And you know, if you have like cardiovascular disease and your stuff's just kind of clogged and it's not moving real fast, it you're and if, if you take a lot of uh, a lot of uh, Western medicine, a lot of you know pharmaceutical um, stuff, uh, you know these these oils have a little harder time. They have a little bit more stuff they have to wade through to get to do what they need to do. Um, so it, it, you know, if you're drinking a six pack of Coke every day and you're dealing with, you know, you're eating Taco Bell every night, obviously that's an extreme example, but uh, the oils, you might not have the same experience with them. It might not be, you know, readily apparent to you that they are in fact actually helping you. Um, but I've had people kind of come and we probably as distributors, we've all had people go, you know, I just don't feel anything. And I'm like, you know what? It's okay. Give it some time because literally this is a long-term you know, a long-term commitment. And, um, and these things are really subtle. They work on the subtle bodies. They're really, really subtle. They don't, for some people, they're like, oh my God, I feel it. And they're like lightning bolt. And they're, you know, it just depends on your physiology. But, mm -hmm. uh, but those oils will come in and they will start repairing. Um, if they can get in and they can clean off a cell receptor site, they'll do that within minutes. Uh, in some cases, um, sometimes you might have to use like a lot more oil. Uh, depending on, you know, what's going on with the, with the body, but they, they can work in as few as, you know, two, three minutes up to, you know, half an hour, an hour. Um, Liz, I just want to jump in. And yeah. Was someone else getting ready to say No, something? go ahead, sweetie. It's okay, you. I just want to jump in to say, um, as most of us on here are like business leaders. So a lot of times when we are speaking with others who are new to the oily world, uh, we do a wellness um, assessment with them, right? Or yep. consultation with them. And part of that is understanding what their diet is. So uh, in regards to those cell receptor sites or the oils being effective on the bodies, right. if someone has a diet that's very acidic, those oils are going to have a problem. Yep. Um, it's got to, you got to, think, for someone versus someone who has a more of an alkaline diet, you would probably have to double or triple the dosage. Right. You know, and that's going to uh, vary from person to person. But I do remember Dr. David Stewart in his book, uh, um, excuse me, shit, this came out of another book. Now I don't know what page I'm on. <laughs> anyway. Are you talking about this um, one? The chemistry yeah, book? One, yeah, yeah, exactly. So this in that book, awesome. he talks about if your body is acidic, it's going to yeah. be um, more uh, challenging for the oils to penetrate. Right. to be effective let me put it that way that's a very good point well yeah. that um, makes a lot of sense yeah yeah and what book was that oh this book you guys have to get it this is at life science publishing so go to discoverlsp.com and get it before they sell out because you know you guys you all know they're selling their stock right like they're okay. going to stop they're going to stop making the they're going to stop making these because the fda that's what yeah. i heard so um so they're going to sell their stock so grab yeah, you this definitely book. want to get it. You want to get it. That this and is that worth big, 50 bucks. Look that, at this book. That and the big Bible. 
Yep. Definitely go scoop this one up because you guys, it, it really literally is made simple. Like it's chemistry, it's deep chemistry. And there'll be parts of it where you're like, Ooh, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm not it still goes over my head. It goes over my okay. head. <laughs> I, I, I know a little yeah. bit more than I knew yesterday. Yeah, exactly. You know, I mean, but the way the way he yes. he he the way he wrote this book was ingenious. It's like three books in one. Really, you know, like he has okay. it for those who are very chemic, um, who really understand chemistry and everything. He has a section just for that. Right. And the beautiful thing, I have all these tabs here in the book, and that's because. These are areas at the end of each chapter. He has yes. like a key. He gives a synopsis of the chapter. Yes. So, so let's brilliant. say you don't have time to read because you guys are so busy making money hand over fist. Yep. So you just go to the key points of that chapter and so it I'm, highlights everything in that chapter. And you can go back and read more within it if you yep. like. So I just geez, went on the I site. Love this man. I just went on the site and unfortunately it's out of stock. Okay, so I, the next thing Amazon. is go on Amazon. Okay. Even though we don't like them, it's okay. No, we uh, don't. Because they're useful. Can't live without them. But what are you going to do? Right? They own and, everything. And is that Gary? Is Who wrote that book? This was um, David Stewart. Dr. This is David, a PhD, PhD chemist named David Stewart. And it's um, it's it's written from a biblical perspective. It's a Christian man, but so he he writes it from fairly biblical perspective. But that's okay, you know, it's all good, right? Yeah, uh, it I is. like it's it. That, he's just like you mentioned the healing oils of the Bible. He right. wrote that one also. So. Right, healing oils of the Bible is another book. Oh my God, we all have to get that book. I don't have it yet, but I want to get it. But this is yeah. um, the chemistry of essential oils made simple by David Stewart, and it's God's love manifested molecules is the little. Isn't that beautiful? Just the um, title actually, alone. Amazon has it. Yeah. How much is it on Amazon? 49. Same, same, about the same yeah, price. Same price. Same price. Okay. Such a good book, you guys. And we all, you know, we're going to need to rely on these things. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen with Life Science Publishing, but um, I, mm -hmm. I threatened to buy a Heidelberg um, offset printer and start printing these bad boys myself if that's what I have to do. <laughs> <laughs> I am not going to let them silence me. <laughs> I am going to do it. So that's funny. We'll, just, we'll do it. I'll be like in Kinko's or whatever. I don't know. They still have Kinko's. I'll be like copying it, you know, <laughs> make copies. <for> like, <laughs> they get the word out. That's awesome. I'm going to get one. Um, they're having a sale, I think, right now. They're like 12 bucks or something. So yeah, grab grab both of those. Those will make your library complete. Yeah. Awesome. Well, guys, thank you again so much. It is great to see everybody. I appreciate you so much for coming in. Yeah. We have no more questions, then we'll just... Love you, got, ladies. We'll thank wrap you. Up. Thank you. Bye, guys. Awesome. Bye. Bye, everyone. See you. trying to figure out how to stop the recording. <laughs> I don't know how work it. <laughs> I'm in high tech. You'd think I would know these things. You'd think I'd be like, boop, boop, boop. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> hey, Roman's still here. Hi, Amir. Hey. Hi. I just wanted to ask you about the multi-greens. It's like I just like oh, I told yeah. you right down in the chat. So yeah. I ordered now Ningxia Red, like a four pack plus the Super B, Super C, and like some other oils. Yeah. Like in the product guide, it says like three times two, uh, three, I, uh, three times a day, two or uh, two capsules. Is this what you recommend as well? I take three. I do not take six a day because um, okay. they're not free. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, so I take, I just take three per day when I'm taking them. Um, mm -hmm. If I'm feeling kind of like under the weather, I'll I'll do the the three caps twice a day for a few days. But I don't okay. I don't um, you know I I sort of don't follow directions very well. I'm kind of rebellious. I sort of do my own thing. So 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 I just take three per day. Yeah, and there's 120 in here, so they're you know they'll keep you for you know like 40 or 50 days. You know if you're just doing them in there. Um, but I'm also really like I'm. I, I work out a lot. I drink a lot of water. I'm pretty healthy. So I, you know, other than the stress in my life, I'm really healthy. So I just, things like work in my body a lot faster generally. 
So yeah. Yeah, I was usually always really healthy too. I just like last year I got diagnosed with a mass, so I'm already like progressing so good compared to like what the doctor said. Like, good. And you know, I'm just like that's why I started with Young Living. I was like, okay, I just want to boost my system because I don't want to take the medicine, you know. Totally agree. Yeah. Do you have one of these, Roman? Do you have I, the pocket reference? I ordered it, but it's like it was supposed to arrive yesterday, but then they, yeah. And then so there's a whole section. Things. There's a whole section in here on MS. Yeah. So oh, cool. yeah, you'll read that because then you can you to be like, okay. So my next order, I'll be like, boop, boop. <laughs> you can go get all the stuff you need. So yeah. Yeah, there's I'm a whole group, section. yeah, I'm in a group with Hallelujah, and she sent me like a few items, and then like I put everything in my shopping cart, and it was like almost seven hundred dollars. So I was I like, know. okay, I know. I have to stop this month, you know. <laughs> yeah, like, we all do food. that. Yeah. They just got my book. Oh, which yeah. one is it? The the one on. Oh, you just placed your order. Oil. Okay, good for you. I just got it. Awesome. awesome. Yay! Good job.